Okay, so so we're first going to do a little bit of questions just to get the, the vibe. So who hates introductions? Raise of hands. Everyone loves introductions. You like introducing yourself to people? Okay, maybe it's just me. Okay, now, who's new to WordPress and WooCommerce? Show of hands. Not brand new, but like you're a newbie, you're starting, don't know everything about WordPress or WooCommerce. Great. Okay. Then... Who has fallen asleep during conference call? Yeah, a few people. Now, the next one is quite uh, intense. So first read it, then raise your hands. Nobody thinks that they can do that? One person. Two people. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a very weird one but it's just to get there. <laughs> so nobody in here has ever lied to their mom. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> okay, now, find out the name and job of the person sitting in front of you, behind you. You do not have an excuse. If you're sitting in the front line, there has to be someone behind you that you can talk to. And if you're sitting in the back line, there has to be someone in the front of you that you can ask. So their name and also their job. Next to you, behind you. Okay, great. Let's get back to this. So now you can't say that you didn't network because now you all met someone new or someone you already knew. Okay, who's now ready to start? Okay, here we go. Okay, so Facebook Ads Manager, um, the reason I decided to do this, this workshop is actually because um, I think a lot of people don't actually know what it can do for you um, and how it also integrates with WooCommerce and WordPress. Um, you don't necessarily need to only integrate with WooCommerce. You don't even need to be able to sell products to do the adverts. You can advertise your service. You can advertise yourself. Um, you can literally advertise everything. If you can't see me, the pillars are a little bit like, but yeah, okay. So um, the thing about Facebook Ads Manager is that I think a lot of people in South Africa think that it's expensive, and it's not. You can advertise for 10 rand a day. So if you have a budget a month for 30 Rand, you can advertise for three days in a row. It will only debit your account with 30 Rand, and there you go. And it is so extremely detailed that you can actually target people who are looking for your very, very specific um, services, your products, even target people that's already been to your website um, to make them come back to your website. That's a very, very powerful tool. We call that a conversion. You converted them to go back to your site and do something or buy something. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's uh, it's a little bit of a passion of mine as Facebook Ads Manager. Um, if I go too fast today, please raise your hand. I, I tend to talk very fast. My brain works over time. Um, so just go like slow down and I'll do it. Okay. So first, um, I'm going to just mention like what my goals is for you guys today. But the main thing is that everybody should at least have made one Facebook advert by the end of the session. And it's not difficult, so you have no excuse. So make sure that you have a Facebook page open if you can, um, if the internet allows it. Um, but otherwise, just make notes as I go if the internet doesn't allow it, because I've got everything on screenshots as well. All right. I'll also post this whole talk on the site, so they'll probably ask all the speakers for their slides. So it'll also be available after. But the idea is for it to be a workshop. So if you are struggling with something specific and there's someone who's like successfully flying away over there, then we're gonna ask them to just collaborate with you and help you out until you're like, okay, I got this. Because actually integrating Pixel with WooCommerce is a really, really powerful tool. And it will be amazing if you guys could do that at least today. Okay, so make one ad Facebook advert. Everyone should have Pixel installed or understand how to do it in the future. And then understand what Facebook Ads Manager can do for you. So just a little bit of like the background. We might not go into super detail with all of the like conversions and custom because that's obviously based on your business. So I can go and tell you how to look for certain things in Facebook Ads Manager, but it will obviously be very specific to you. So even when we go through it and you decide, okay, I would rather focus on 
um, reaching as many people as possible than trying to target this little amount of people. So as we go, decide for yourself what will work for your company, your personal business, whatever you feel like. Okay, so those are my goals for today. Everybody clear on that? So you're all going to try and make a Facebook advert today that works. Great. Okay, so just a little bit, what is Facebook Pixel? So before we start, I just want to explain what it is. Um, this is not a developer talk, so I'm not going to go into the code. But you can literally set up Pixel yourself as a user. You don't need a developer to do it. They've made it super easy for you. It's a plugin. It links up by itself, and bam, it works. So there's no hardcore code that you have to like go and do. If you want to do that, you could. For very big websites, they do recommend that because then you get a lot more data. But for a small website or a big website, it doesn't matter. You can just link it up very quickly. Okay, so the Facebook pixel is basically a piece of code that's placed on your website, and it reports back on what happens on your website. So it can tell you, these, this is the data that you get from the, the website. This is your traffic on this page. So for example, on your homepage, you had, had this many views um, the past week. Um, this many people actually clicked on the shop, shop um, now button. This many people checked out. So it's very, very, very detailed. Very, very good. Um, so it reports back on a lot of things. Um, conversions, built audiences. So your audience, for example, would be, let's say for me, it would be people who ride a horse, obviously. So that's very, very targeted. But let's say you're selling dresses. You can literally target half the population. So it's, it really depends on your demographics of type of people. Okay. Um, you can create up to 10 pixels as well. So let's say you're a developer and you've got, for example, five sites that you, that you do work for. You could ask them to integrate the pixel. You can have it under your account as well or theirs, but you can have more than one pixel code linked to more than one website. So for example, on mine, I've got WordCamp Jobex one, and then I also have my horse one, and I've got two other sites as well on your Facebook Ads Manager. Because if you are the admin of your Facebook Ads, you can also see all the pixel results. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to set up the pixel, how to integrate it, and how to get to your ads manager. This is actually something I really struggled with in the beginning. It's like, where is this? And then sometimes when you click on an advert, you're like, oh, here it is. So I'll show you how to get there. And then also uh, the events manager. So what they mean by events is specifically like check out page views, that those are like the type of events that they talk about. So if you are in your Facebook, I don't know how fast the internet here is, but if you can go onto your Facebook wall, you'll find it on the side there. It's a very, very, very bad screenshot, but it shows you exactly where it is. So you can actually see here, it'll be on the side here. So if these are the pages that you manage, then the ads manager will be right over there. Okay, does everybody, can I just by show of hands see who actually did the homework? So who has already installed Pixel? few people. Okay, so should I go through installing the pixel for you guys? And then I also want to know who actually already has Ads Manager on their Facebook page. Like you can actually see it the way I pointed it out. Okay, a few people. Okay, great. So we're like in between. All right, so the pixel, if you're really struggling with this, just ask the people who put their hands up now that already has it. But I'm going to try and guide you step by step as well. All right, um, get back here. Okay, so this is actually what your ads manager looks like. If you can't see, just please move forward. But um, if you click on that little red button that I just showed you on the side, this is what the ads manager looks like, okay? So first you need to go into Facebook and then you need to find this ads manager. Has anyone done that? Okay, so there's two ways of doing this. If you do not have the ads manager on your Facebook yet, I'm gonna show you how to get the pixel directly from your WooCommerce site as well, okay? So it's not... You can either install the plugin and then go to your Facebook, or you can do it this way. I find a lot of people know Facebook more than they know the WordPress back office. Okay, so you're going to click on Pixels right there under Events Manager, and then it'll throw out this little block. So this is seriously, they've made it as easy as they possibly can for you to create. It's not 
a, a train smash to create it. Um, you can also look at the slides later and do it later and then just jot down um, notes for now if you can't do this right now. Okay, so has everyone clicked on it? Then your next step, so for a lot of people, if you're not a developer, um, you are not going to obviously choose manually install the code yourself. Because yeah, that's if they take the code, they go and put it on the website. If you don't know where, it can get very complicated. But most of us are using either WordPress or WooCommerce. So you're going to click on the very first one that actually says use an integration or tag manager. Okay. If you click on that one, are you guys there or not? Did you click into Ads Manager? You can literally do this for your own personal Facebook as well. Like a lot of people have their own brand. You know, I'm a developer, I work off-site, I work for a company, but I would like to advertise my services or I would like to at least get some more customers so I can get some more money. Okay. So if you click on Integration or Tag Manager, it actually throws out, there's a little bit more if you scroll to the top. This is a screenshot, so I can't scroll to the top. But if you click on that, you can actually see that you can integrate with WooCommerce or WordPress. So WooCommerce, I think, is more for people who are product-based. And then WordPress, you can obviously, if you have a website that's like service-based as well, WordPress. Okay, then you go to, so you can choose here. It doesn't really matter. It'll create the pixel anyway based on your website. If you are using WooCommerce, choose WooCommerce rather than WordPress. If you don't have WooCommerce on your website and you're just using WordPress, with a theme or um, as is, click on WordPress. Okay. Then it starts with a little connect your WordPress account. So the other thing is that you must just make sure that your WordPress version is right. You'll see it says this integration is supported for WordPress versions 4.4 and above. So if you are on a bit of an older version of WordPress, Pixel might not be able to integrate. So just make sure that you are updated with your latest WordPress um, update. And it is also the first question your developer will ask you. <laughs> is your plugins updated? Okay. All right, then uh, you can just click on continue. Oh, sorry, you have to download this file. My bad. So it's not very big. You can just click on download, and it will download the zip file. And this is the file that you'll have to upload into your WordPress site. So now it creates the pixel for your Facebook and it basically puts it into your WordPress site. So if you've downloaded that, then you have to now navigate. So I'll give you a bit of time to navigate to your WordPress site. So if you've downloaded this file, just make sure you know where you've saved it. So click on download, wait for it. It'll make a zip file and it'll probably throw it in your downloads folder unless you choose to save it somewhere else. So if you've clicked on download, just make sure you know where you save it because you have to go and get that file now to upload it into WordPress. Okay. All right. After this, I'm going to go through the, a bit more detail of the Facebook Ads Manager once we get past this. Okay. All right. If you navigate to your... This is a really bad screenshot, but if you navigate to your WordPress um, back office... You'll obviously first just see your dashboard, and then you'll go to this one. So this is exactly the same. It's just a closer up screenshot. So on that gray um, strip on the side, you'll find plugins, and then just click on Add New. Okay, so select the, it's called the Facebook for WooCommerce zip file. Um, it'll be in your downloads or somewhere, wherever you save your files that you download. And you just click on the Add New button, um, and it will upload it to the website. Okay. Once it's uploaded like this, you click on Activate Plugin to activate that. Because that now, if that's not live and it's not activated, Facebook can't find that code. And the, your next step is to literally test traffic to your website. So this plugin needs to be activated in order to, <clears throat> to work.
Okay. I'm going to move on. If you're struggling, either ask me or ask someone that you look around <laughs> and see if there's someone. Okay. Um, so after you've installed that plugin, Facebook now wants to basically verify if your plugin is installed and if it's actually working correctly. So it's going to ask you to enter the URL for this website. So the website where you uploaded your pixel code, that website's domain you're now going to type into this um, bar right here. Enter the URL for this website. So their guidelines is very, very easy. So if you want to do it in the future, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Then you click on send test traffic. Um, so if it doesn't work, it actually throws out an error that says either your plugin didn't download correctly, you didn't install it correctly, or it's not working. If it says no activity yet, it might just be that there's no one on your website for them to, to do the actual data gathering. So it might obviously take time for the data to be thrown out. But if you send test traffic, this should come, the next screen should show you a confirmation that the pixel is actually integrated. Okay. If there is something wrong there and it doesn't work, the best thing is to go to a developer and ask them. Sometimes they have to install the code manually, um, but most of the time this, this method does work. So is everyone okay up till here? You guys okay? No, it's no problem. Um, basically, this is it. This is how Pixel works, this is how it integrates. So after this, if everyone's okay, then we'll just go to the actual ads manager. And now I'm going to show you how to create adverts and how to make it work, which is very interesting. I've actually, a little story is we actually had, um, we have an advert running continuously. So you can say, um, upload it, um, make it run continuously, make it target very, very specific people. Like we target, for example, in the past 30 days, the people that's been on our website. Because obviously they're looking for something. So if they've been on your website, you can target them specifically. Um, and what's great about this Facebook Ads Manager is that you don't, don't need all these insane like marketing experts telling you this and this one telling you this. You can literally do this by yourself at your house if you have Wi-Fi. So it's very, very easy to, um, to manage. And it links up to your website, which makes it such an amazing tool because you, you can literally track people on your website. And if a page doesn't get any views, then there's a reason for it. Or, for example, people are not even clicking twice on your site. What's wrong with my site? You know, maybe it's too cluttered. Maybe it needs a bit of a better design or layout or better guidance. And so data, I think you guys have probably heard it over the years, but data really is king. And without it, you, you will struggle. Okay, so if we go back to Facebook, um, then your go to your ads manager, and then obviously it throws out, this is quite an intense photo, you don't have to read it, so don't worry, um, but this is basically what it will look like if you've posted quite a few posts and you've boosted it. It actually shows you the delivery, whether it's active, your budget, so you can see it says here using ad set budget. So there's a lot of different things on Ad Manager, but I'm going to show you how it works. Um, but all I'm saying is once your pixel is integrated, this code will appear at the top. So, and that actually means that your pixel is linked up and it's working if that code appears and your Facebook opens up this Ad Manager. Okay, I'm going to go through the types of adverts that you can create, and then we can come back to the pixel, or we can guide people to set it up just now. Okay, so I want you guys to go and click on this Create button if you are there. So I'm going to first go through the actual Ads Manager. If this doesn't work, then I'll show you how to do it from your Facebook wall. Maybe I should start with that, because it's a lot easier than this one. Then we can come to this one after. Let me just quickly... Oh, yeah. So if you, for example, are not a, a huge company, you've got your Facebook page. And you want to, sorry, let me just go down. Okay. 
Okay, so let's say this is your Facebook page now, okay? You can literally create an advert from just posting a status. So you can even advertise a status. There are certain guidelines that Facebook expects you to follow. Um, a good one for us, for example, is that you can't use more than 30% of your image cannot be text. So you can't put sale this big on the image and expect Facebook to promote it for you. They will not. They will literally run it for like the half an hour that it's getting approved and then they'll kick it out and say your ad was not approved. And then if you don't know why, they actually guide you. So they give you like a little link, you can go click on it and they'll tell you exactly why they didn't approve your advert. So that's also quite nice. So if you're on your Facebook page um, and you all know the status button, oh, the status space, they've actually now recently come out with so much fun things that you could actually promote and do on Facebook. So right under your status, you'll see check-in, event tickets, add a milestone, get bookings, a poll. You can even make people answer questions. Feeling, write a note, tag a product. So this is like also if it's integrated with WooCommerce, you have a product. So let's say, for example, for me, I put a, like a horse helmet or something there. Then you can actually tag that product. When people click on it, it takes them straight to your website. So that's actually really mental. So if people are on Facebook, they can literally click on anything and it'll go straight to your website, which is where you're trying to direct them to. So at the end, this is the, you can advertise your business from here. This is very, very, very simple. And then get messages. Start a question and answer thing. So if you are not sure how Facebook Ads Manager works, then you can just use this tool itself. Because at the bottom here, you can see boost post. And that literally is when you push the money in for it to go public. And they also guide you through it. So I'm going to guide you guys through it the easy way, and then I'll go back to Facebook Ads Manager and show you a little bit more in detail, like the collaboration that you can do. You can do carousels, like that scrolls. and Okay. Um, right, so if you type, or let's say, for example, you added a photo now. So add a photo or type something. Choose one of these things that you would like to do, even if it's advertise your business. So click on something. You'll even see that Facebook actually gives you tips. So here's page tips. Um, if you've got a business page, it'll actually show you write a post to connect with your page visitors. And that here. So if you know friends who might like your page, you can promote your, your, or you can actually invite them to like your page. That's quite a common thing to do. And then you can even create a group for your page. So with Facebook's new rules about advertising that came out, if you have a community, so let's say you've got a group built around your page, your advert is more likely to appear everywhere on Facebook, basically. So they, they said, okay, but if there's a community, that community obviously wants to see that advert. So they will rather throw out that advert to that community than they will if it's a random person coming in and there's no community build around that page. So they focus on that now. So it is actually a good idea to start a group. It's just a lot of maintenance because obviously people ask questions and you might not get members to join. So if you've chosen one of those activities, just do it as a test for now. You don't have to click the final like debit my account button, but either write something or add a random photo into there. I'll guide you all the way to the end so that you, if you want to click on the boost, you can, but I mean, yeah. So you can literally decide what you want to do on Facebook Ads Manager. Okay, this is just a bit of like the custom audiences. So you'll actually see, sorry, let me just jump back here. I want to show you guys the audience button. Okay, if you, if you click on create new ad where I showed you guys here, you can click on create new ad. Uh, I just want to show you here. This is how it starts. So it is best to go this route because you can choose very, very specific things. So on your main page, you can just go to your status, add a photo and boost the post and choose whoever you want to boost it to. But if you want to create a campaign, it's a lot more detailed and you can actually decide, if you have a website that's linked to this, what you want um, 
What's your marketing objective, if I can put it like that? Do you want to reach as many people as possible? Or we can actually go through it. So your brand awareness. Um, so if you, for example, you can literally only select one here. You can't select two. They only make you select one, which is hard. Um, it's, it's not that easy but to choose, because, but you can make more than one ad set, which is nice. So the one can target traffic, but the other one can just reach as many people as possible. Okay, so brand awareness is like if you want more people to know about you and about your specific brand that you have, for example, with clothing and Nike, they talk, target people who like Nike, obviously. Okay, then reach is different. Um, let's say, for example, we're having a, um, a charity event. You're not trying to target only specific people. You're trying to target as many people as possible to come and donate money. So you would then choose reach because you can reach the maximum amount of people. So here, yeah, it's brand awareness and there's reach. Okay. Then traffic is like, this is actually the traffic one that I chose. So it's actually to send more people to your website. So it's driving traffic from Facebook to your website. And essentially, okay, that's what everyone wants. But when you're a bigger company, you actually want to sell something to people. So you would more go for the conversion one. Then you get the engagement. So, for example, Social Butterfly, all she wants is she wants people to comment on her post. She wants people to comment and share and engage as much as possible on that post. So they'll write a really interesting status and they can actually target it for engagement. So they want people to comment. They want people to share that post as much as possible. Then you'll have to choose engagement. Okay. Then app installs, if anybody is here that writes apps, you can specifically target people. So if you have an app, you can target them. If you click on app installs, it says direct them directly to the app store. So if your advert pops up and they click on learn more or shop now or book now, it'll take them directly to the app store where they can download your app. Okay. Video views, um, it's the same, for example, if you're advertising a square image, but if you're advertising a video as well, you can just click on video views, and it'll also advertise it the same as any other advert, but it'll just target people more with the video. Okay. Lead generation is quite interesting. That's actually a bit new, but it's more like, I actually have an explanation somewhere that I can show you guys. Uh, is everyone following along so far? A little bit. At least you're learning something about Facebook, if not anything else. It goes into so much detail that like, you really have to go and sit with Ads Manager, go through every tab, um, and actually read on what it is. You can actually go to the Facebook business, you can just Google Facebook business, and they have a very, very amazing help center. And this is actually where I got most of my screenshots as well. So that help center actually guides you through almost anything that you want to do. But, okay, so, and then messages. For example, if you want to target people to send you a message about a specific topic, you can also advertise messages. I don't know how much that actually gets used, but you can target people and ask them. So the button that pops up, they won't be shop now, it will be message, if that makes any sense. Like, it's not a shop now or a book now or learn more, it's message me, okay? And then conversions is like, on, on Facebook Ads Manager, that's like your... Very, very intense one, if I can put it like that. You basically have to guide people, and there's, you have to set up rules. So I'll, um, I'll go through the slides a bit as well. And then you can actually guide people to um, your website. And you have to actually uh, click on... Just let me show you guys quickly. You have to actually go to the... Um, You have to set up rules. For example, I want them to check out on my website. Or I want them to add something to the cart. So there's a whole list of events on your website that you can go and say, I want to con take this advert and convert people to check out. So if you click on conversions, it will guide you step by step through that as well. Then catalog sales is more like products click on catalog sales, it'll specifically throw out, do you, it'll throw out something like this, for example, where you can make um, a carousel or you can have a single image, a single video, a slideshow, or a collection. 
So catalog sales is very, very product focused. If you click on catalog sales, it will throw out more specifically, I want to advertise this product that I just got in. Okay. Uh, okay, then store visits. Um, this is like for, lo for, for a local store. Let's say I have a shop, I do, in Cape Town. If I go and advertise for that shop, I don't actually go and target. Do you understand? Like, she doesn't have a website. She only has a shop. So you want people to be able to see the address and the location of that shop. So you would then click on store visits, which will bring people to your shop. So if they see that advert, they get a little button that actually says get directions. And if they click on that, they'll be able to go to your physical shop. Okay. Okay, then this is just where I wanted to show you guys um, a little bit. So I clicked here on traffic, and then at the bottom it says continue. Um, if you click on that continue button, then I want to show you online. So I'm just trying to get online, then I can actually make one. But your daily budget cannot be less than 10 Rand, but 10 Rand is really not a lot. So if you can go and sit down for yourself and say, hey, I've got 200 Rand a month that I can actually spend, you can literally advertise for 20 days a month, which is quite a lot. And if you target people very, very specifically, you can also even do lowest cost. So it says get the most results for your budget across ad sets. So anyone can use Facebook. You can also set a bid cap. So you can say, for example, when it reaches this amount, stop the advert. So if you click on that, it'll say, um, for example, I only want to be able to be debited with 1,000 Rand. I don't want it to go over that. So even for the bigger companies, they also do it. So they say, for example, our ad budget is 10,000 Rand. So run all these adverts, but when we reach 10,000 Rand, stop it. Debit us and stop. That's our budget for the month. Okay. So your actual amount spent daily can vary. You'll see like sometimes they only spend 8 Rand something or 9 Rand something. But in the end, it'll all add up so that it is that 30 Rand that you're spending over three days. Okay. Okay. So now, this is a campaign. So the next thing it's going to ask you is um, to create an audience. This is very, very important. You need to be able to tell them um, who do you want to see your advert, basically. Do you want random strangers to see your adverts because it's a charity event and you just want anyone with money to come and attend? Or is there like a specific target market that you have in mind? You can type a lot of interests into this. Um, but creating the audience, you would, for example, call it a name. So you can, for example, make an audience for Gauteng, but you can also make one for Northwest. And they can actually be different. People's interests can differ. And then when you... When you make, um, so they call it a custom audience. When you make an audience, um, you can save that audience and the next time you use the same audience. So for every advert, you don't have to type it all in again, like horse riding and show jumping. And so there's a lot of interest you can target. Okay. Um, so the audience is, it's um, very important. So give it a name. So they had custom audiences, you can... Uh, create the, put a name for your audience, and then in this, everyone in this location, I just really wish I can get on the internet, let me try again. In everyone's, um, it's very difficult to do without actually being on Facebook. <laughs> okay, so in any case, if you click on everyone in this location, um, it'll give you a drop down and you can actually choose a location so you can choose like Gauteng or be very, very specific. For example, if you're a developer and you're based in Gauteng and you only want to work with companies in that um, area, you only target that area. But you can also target more than one area. You can also target more than one country. So you can even say South Africa and then you can say Mozambique or you can say Botswana or you can say as many countries as you want in there. You can even advertise from here in USA, it doesn't matter. It'll still pitch up on people's walls. If you're targeting a specific person, this is easy. But if you're targeting a bulk amount of people, you're going to have to go to all of their pages. 
So if it's one person, then I would go and look at their likes, which pages do they like, what interests, because there's literally something called interests on Facebook, right? You say like, I'm interested in music, or I'm interested in um, whatever. That interest is what Facebook takes out and they put it in there. So if you type there like, show jumping for me, for example, if anybody does that, it'll, it pops up on their interests and they've said like, this is what I'm interested in, this is what I'm doing. So, and a lot of people actually don't have that in their profile, so this is quite a hard thing. Like, not all of us put our interests in Facebook. Um, but I would specifically target the type of company that your competitor is, and say, let's say, for example, is also a developer, and you're trying to steal his clients, you'll have to go and see what that client is working with by going to their Facebook page. It's a lot of Facebook stalking. But if you do that and you target all the people that you specifically want, you can literally target people in a very, very small area as well. So if it's only Johannesburg and you only want this radius of people in these specific areas, you can do that too. Like the shop is situated in the Pearl, and I only target the Pearl and 20 kilometers around that. That's it. So only people who live in that area get to see that advert. No one outside of that area can see that advert. So that's also, but your list of interests can be as long as you want it. There's almost no limit. So you can literally, everything that persons, the, the people are interested in, you put into interests. Then the age group. Um, for example, for some of our adverts, we only target women. We don't target men at all because they don't buy the product. So then you can literally select men or women and their age, um, age groups. You can also enter a language, but mostly it does, in South Africa, it doesn't normally even ask you that because it just uses English as a general language. But let's say your site is in Afrikaans, and you want to target Afrikaans-speaking people, you would literally put the inter-language Afrikaans. And if people type in Afrikaans on their Facebook page, it'll pick that up, and it will literally throw out your advert to Afrikaans-speaking people. Okay, this is where you type in the interests. So it'll ask you, for example, demographics, interests, or behavior, detailed targeting. You can even exclude people if you want to exclude your competitor. Um, you can exclude their page, or they don't see your advert at all. Um, and then you can give Facebook the authority almost to actually go and look for more people. So they can expand your interest when it may increase the link clicks at a lower cost per link click. So they can, for example, take over a little bit and like throw it out to people that you might not have thought of, but they still keep it at a very low, a low cost. Okay, so this is the placement, so show your ad to the right people in the right places. Um, if you're making a campaign, just stick with the recommended automatic placements, because it does take everything from your Facebook page and just applies it. So you don't have to go and edit that. Then your budget and schedule. Um, you, every, your daily budget, you can even go to that and actually choose like a weekly budget or a monthly budget that you want to run it on. Um, and the actual amount... Um, spend and then set a start and end date. So if you click on that, it'll actually give you like start on, let's say for example, today and then end on Sunday. So that your ad only runs for those three days. And it literally only debits you for that, that amount of time. It won't debit you more. Um, you can also start a continuous ad. So you, for example, with Google Ads, you can have an ad running for 100 Rand a day and with Facebook ads. And then just... Um, for the rest until you stop it. So it can literally just keep running and debit your, amount, your account with the same amount every month. So here you can actually see the custom audiences. So if you've created an audience in the Facebook Ads Manager, it'll throw it out. So WordPress users in Gauteng, for example. Um, and here's all the interests. So you can go and target specifically like web developer, um, WordPress developer, Everything that you think is an interest to your target market, go type it in there, where it said interest in the slide. Okay, so you can also, on Facebook itself, if you're on the page, you can also click on Promote Website, and it'll actually promote your website for you. It'll throw out the same type of block, and it'll guide you through all the steps. So Facebook throws out a lot of like tips like this, for example, um, that you can actually just use. So if you guys go to your Facebook Ads Manager and click on Create Ad, and then from there we see if we can at least 
hit something down. Is there anybody still struggling with the pixel that needs help? No one. Basically, this is WordPress uh, base based, and it's got WooCommerce on it. And then we just sell uh, tons of products. So at the moment, you can see there's like a pink sale going on. And what we would actually do is we would take the exact same image that's on our home page, put it on Facebook Ads Manager, and make it run with a Shop Now button. And then when people click on that, it's nice if they can see the link. So... Um, if you do something on, on Facebook Ads Manager, it's best to, when you click, when you use the Shop Now button, it asks you for the URL for this website. Don't just put your home page. If you're advertising a product, try and add the URL that takes them directly to that product. Otherwise, they have to navigate your site. So you've already lost them before you've even got, gained them. So for example, if I had to advertise a product like this cap, but I would literally take them to that exact product on the website so that we can, you can, um, they can directly, literally all they have to do is add to cart or choose their size and color and add it to the cart. That's the, probably the best way of advertising. Then um, I wanted to show you guys a bit of the custom conversions that you can do with this. So basically, um, if you've like installed and activated this plugin, let me just go back. Um, to this. If you've actually, if you've activated the plugin um, that we did, it actually links up with Facebook with that code. Do you understand? So it, it puts that plugin on your website and then runs it. So you actually, if you, like, if you are here and you've activated this plugin, it'll actually throw out more steps for you to, like, link the, the site properly, properly. But it depends. If you have a product page product-based website, then it, it links up with the, with the products. So you can actually then say, like, oh, this is a product-based website or this is a service-based website. And then it, it takes you further. It's very, very difficult to get screenshots of that. We've had a Google Ads advert run now um, for a few months, um, which basically just puts us at the top there where it says Google Ads. But if, I have to, if you have to think for yourself, when you Google something, where do you look? Do you look at the first two adverts? No. You scroll down and you actually look for the link that is more applicable to you. So if you Google something and the first two says ads next to it, I don't actually ever, ever click on those links. So we've actually almost seen no results from the Google ads that we've run. Whereas with Facebook Ads Manager, I can honestly tell you that there's a... Um, a company or a place called Pont de Vol next to the river, they built some guest houses. They literally brought the guest houses out of the whole building like budget the, in the red, out of the red into the green in three months with Facebook Ads Manager. Because you can target very, very specific people and demographics and target that area or target Gauteng because no one's going to fly from Cape Town to come sleep next to the Vol River if you live in Cape Town. So they obviously target people in a different way but they literally brought their, um, their whole business out of the red just with Facebook Ads Manager by targeting people very, very specifically. Um, so uh, personally, I haven't had a good experience with Google Ads. That's the truth. With Facebook Ads Manager, we've had our ads that run continuously. is literally continuously our top seller that month if that advert runs.